fourth and fifth graders. What is going on? Day three of the 21 day fast. It's Monday. Hope you guys are doing well. Okay, so I got to start today by telling you guys that when I was in college, I played golf for my school and this one tournament we went to, it was a pretty fun, fun time. And we had gone to a restaurant after, after the tournament was over. We ordered our food. No one's really hungry. Oh, I don't feel too good. So we get in the van. We drive back to school, it was bad. Everyone on the team got sick. Why did we get sick? All 15 of us, I don't know how many there were, because we ate spoiled food. Oh, oh, oh. It was, I can't even think about it. Okay, what does that have to do with what we're talking about? Great question, we're gonna get there. John chapter six, verse 27. If you don't have your Bible with you, pause. Go get it. It's really important that you have it and something to write with. Here we go. John chapter 6, verse 27. Do not work for food that spoils, but for food that endures to eternal life, which the Son of Man will give you. On him, the Father has placed his seal of approval. So now you know that's my example of food spoiling. But I want to give you guys a little bit of a background of this really, really quick. So this is happening. Jesus is talking to a group of people right after he had fed the 5,000. So many of you guys probably know that Bible story. Jesus feed, feeds 5,000 people, and the next day he goes to another side of the lake. They follow him. Hey, that's the dude that gave us food, free food, let's go. Right, I mean, you would follow someone that gave you free food. But Jesus said, hey, do not work for food that spoils, but food that endures to eternal life. Uh, like canned food, food that doesn't spoil? No, no, no. A little bit different. Jesus is talking about himself here. He's talking about food that endures to eternal life. And this is so important because as we are fasting for 21 days of something specific, a specific food, TV show, video game, whatever you've decided, we need to know that those things spoil. And so this is a reminder that the things we eat or the things like the video games we play or the movies we watch are temporary, just like we talked about yesterday, but things that are eternal are like what's in the Bible, the Word of God. So Jesus says, those things aren't necessarily bad, but don't work so hard for them and miss out on me, on eternal life. So my challenge for you guys today is that when you're tempted on day three to think about or to want the thing that you're giving up, I want you just to stop and pray. Say, Lord, eternal things are more important than temporary things. You could even say food spoils. And you can remember the story that I told of everyone getting sick because of spoiled food. All right, that is it for today. Hey, you guys are just the coolest, absolutely the best. Can't wait to see you again, hopefully soon. We can't be together, but we're in this together, each and every one of you. Stay tuned. See you guys tomorrow.